This is one of multiple videos discussing NAT or network address translation. In this video, we are troubleshooting a NAT issue. We've been told that hosts on the inside network, in other words, these hosts, which are being represented by router one, router four, and router five, are not able to ping 8.8.8.8, which is a Google DNS server. And in this example, that's been represented by router three. So we have the inside and the outside network. Router two in this topology is our NAT router. So let's connect to router one, which is acting as host one and see if it can ping 8.8.8.8. We're getting an unreachable message in the output here. Let's have a look at the routing table. This router has a default gateway configured as 10.1.1.254. That is router two in the topology, which is our NAT router. So router one acting as host one is able to get to the NAT router, but it doesn't look like it's able to get to the Google router. So you can see in the output here, it's reached 10.1.1.254, but it doesn't look like it can get any further. Now to speed things up, I'm gonna use the no IP domain lookup command. And then let's do that trace again. So you can see it gets to default gateway, but can't get any further than that. Let's have a look at the default gateway and see what's happening with the NAT translations. So this is router two, show IP NAT translations. There are no NAT translations at the moment. Show IP NAT statistics. So looking at the statistics, we can see that there have been translations in the past. Outside interface is gigabit zero one which is this interface facing the router acting as Google. Inside interfaces are gigabit 00, 02, and 03. In other words, these interfaces over here. A dynamic mapping has been configured for inside source address translation. We've got a access list pointing to a NAT pool called NAT pool. Can any of the other internal routers ping Google? So this is router four, also getting unreachable. Let's do a debug IP NAT on router two. We see a problem here saying that NAT translation failed, dropping the packet. So we're getting a dropped packet from 10.1.2.2, which is this router. Let's have a look at router one again. So this router couldn't trace to Google. Let's see what happens here. We're also getting a NAT translation failure. So let's have a look at the configuration. Gigabit 01 is configured with this IP address and it's configured as the outside address. Show run interface gigabit 00 as an example. It's configured with this IP address and it's configured as the inside NAT address. Show run pipe include NAT. So these are the statements on the interfaces telling us which interfaces are inside and outside. If I do a show run pipe include access, can you see the problem? Okay, so notice the statement, IP NAT inside source list one pool NAT pool. In other words, we're saying that any traffic matching access list one, which is permitting anything, will be NATed according to this NAT pool called NAT pool. But notice here, IP NAT pool, NAT pool, instead of a NAT pool is being used. So everything else looks good, except we've got a spelling mistake on the NAT pool name. So let's fix that. No, and I'll remove this command. So no IP NAT pool, and then I'll edit that to make it correct. So add the extra O. So show run pipe include NAT. This NAT pool 
referenced by the IPNAT statement now exists in the configuration. So let's try and do that ping again. Ping succeeds. And notice we can see that 10.1.1, which is this router, was natted to 8.8.8.10, which is the first IP address in the NAT pool for traffic going to 8.8.8.8. And then when the return traffic came back, this address was natted back to the internal address of the router. Show IP NAT translation shows us that. So this inside local address is being natted to this inside global address. The outside address is not being natted. So host one can ping Google and we see the NAT translation taking place. Host four can also ping google.com. And we've also got another host here, host five if you like, or router five acting as our third host. Can it ping Google? Yes, it can. So that was an example of how to troubleshoot NAT. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.